So after watching that video, the live performance, uh, doing the, that lead, he is indeed lifting his fingers up the whole time so he's not just moving a chord. So something to keep in mind, if he wanted to sound 100% like the song, or as close to as possible. So the first new thing is, looks like it's labeled the bridge, bar looks like 66, and let's see, we've got, uh, just doing some arpeggios. This print is super small. That's okay. That's six. Okay, so starting that over. Again, for the second time. Third time, a little different. Ending just has a slightly longer run. So here it is. Start over. Should have looked this over first. Okay, so yeah, I was just thinking ahead, and it's the uh, bar 109 where you do that shift over. So after you hit that 12th fret, the D, shift over to that C note with your ring finger. Alright, so anyway, here we go. The last run for real this time. So you're basically barring the eights the whole time, and then we start with this chord, the C, uh, C minor, we go into the A flat major, into a C flat minor, and those are the three chords. So here we go. Remember, between when you're switching from the C minor to the A flat major, you're taking everything off except the bar. And going from the A flat major to E flat minor, again, you take everything off except the bar into the E flat minor. You do 
not take anything off from the E flat minor because you're just going to put your pinky down for that C minor. Let me know if you got any questions. I will see you on Thursday.